Last week, we learned how to send push notifications with Expo and Superbase Edge functions. Now today, let's combine this with database webhooks and send push notifications straight from inserting data into the database. Let's go. Okay, now let's do a cool little thing. We're going to create a new table and we're going to call it notifications notifications and um, yes role level security is fine so yeah we we'll just generate maybe um, a UID yeah just generate a random UID then we want um, the user So from the user um, ID, uh, we will be, it's a UID and we will be referencing our auth dot users. Um, yeah, the ID. Um, action if references rows updated yeah let's do um uh no for update no action for delete we'll do a cast case delete okay um and then we just do the notification body as text um, and yes, okay, let's create this. So then what we can do is, if you uh, remember, we had our database webhooks um, and we can check out the code here. So we'll be um, getting uh, a webhook. So we can get the webhook payload um, so we can generate the types and everything um, if we want to I'm not going to do it um, for this I'll just say here um, the record will just basically be um, this one ID, uh, user ID and body. So we'll just say uh, ID is a string, user ID is a string and body is also a string. Uh, Let's just call that notification. So let's say type uh, interface noti notification uh, is this. And then we'll just say here notification as well. Yeah, we can auto generate these if you check out um, the video on it. And then we have the webhook um, payload. So now what we can do is we can um, fetch our uh, Expo push token from uh, the Superbase database. So we can just import, uh, let's do that here. We can import, um, create client from uh, we can just say HTTPS no ah auto complete and superbase slash superbase hyphen JS um, and we can yeah we get our create client and then we can say const superbase equals create client 
and we can say um, dino dot env dot get uh, and these are uh, preset in our uh, super base. So as we deploy the function, these secrets are preset. So we can just say um, super base service role key. Um, yeah, and we'll just can mark these because they are uh, definitely set on our project. And then what we can do is we can get um, away super base from so profiles uh, select we want the expo push token uh, and we want it where the uh, ID equals the payload dot um, record dot user ID. Yes. Uh, ah, like this, right? Okay, ID user ID, and then we'll get back um, our data. Uh, we want um, a single record, uh, and then we'll get our data dot expo push token, uh, and then we want to send the uh, payload dot body uh, record dot body yep and so now we just need to deploy this uh, super base functions deploy push okay that is deployed. We need to set our secrets, secrets set um, env file dot uh, env dot local. Okay, our secrets are set up. Uh, and so now if we go back, uh, we can create on our database we can create a webhook and push notification. We want to use the public notifications table on an insert event. We want to trigger the push edge function and we want to send um, our service role key for the authorization. Uh, okay, let's create this webhook. And so now, this should be fun if we're um, in the notifications, we insert, ah, we just need to find out which user tested to. So if we go to our users tested two. Uh, let's copy the user ID there. And so now if we create a new um, user ID will be this one. Uh, we can actually select the record um, as well. So this is our user ID. And then yay, DB webhooks. Maybe can we put this as well? Give that safe. And so now there we go. Everything worked on the first try. Yay, 
DB webhooks. So you can see kind of with edge functions, your database um, and the expo push notifications API, you can very easily kind of create your service and your React Native application and get push notifications set up. Let us know what else you want to learn about Expo and React Native and Superbase, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.